Mm. Det är lite kaffe vet du. Mm. Så, hej så folk Hensel. Uh, do you guys remember the adapter cable I made myself for the whoops? Charging one as... Oh dear. Charging one as life goes. I want to do something more simpler. So a company called Hobbyfy RC reached out to me and made something very very interesting with a flip of a switch. Stay tuned. Okay, so here are the three items we're going to take a look at. The balance charger board, a parallel charging board and the USB charging board. Okay, first we'll look at the USB charging board. For one is lithium high voltage. Uh, input 5 volt, 1 amp to 3 amps. So you could use your charger for your phone, tablet or a USB power bank. A port of course 4.35 volts, this is a high voltage. It will charge at 0.2 amps or 0.6 amps. And connectors of course, PH 3.0 and GNB 27, which are these guys here. Let's put the micro USB cable. And the switches here, you can see six switches there, there and here. And now the switches on the right side goes to this side. And switch on the left goes to this side. If is enough. Now the chargers. You can either select by 0.6 amps or 0.2 amps. So flip it up, 0.6, flip it down, 0.2 amps. Now they do recommend with if you want to charge it like say two light bulbs at once, these two here, then you can use 0.6 amps. But the, if you want to charge like uh, six at once. They do recommend to set it on 0.2 amps. Okay, how does it work? Well, plug in the USB cable. I'm going to use the USB power bank here for now. And we get solid lights. And solid lights indicate that it's delivering power, so it's charging. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, okay. Plug it in. And just visit. So it's been a few minutes. Already charged some light bulbs before. Now here you can see the LED light has turned off, which indicates this light battery is fully charged. This one here is still charging. Okay. Fully mobile. Easy to use, great for a starter. Okay, moving on to the next one. So the parallel charging board. Here's the unit itself, with the XT60 connector. XT60 to four millimeter banana plug or barrel connector. Now, the simple purpose of this is to charge more batteries at once. So you can either use the GNB27 or PH 2.0 or the JST 1.25 mm. Even has some fuses here too. Very nice, very nice. Nice. Okay. So charging more batteries at once, right? But there's a few catch to it. So I'm gonna explain how. The batteries you want to charge need to be the same amount of cells. So here I have only one cells. I cannot combine, okay, let's say, I want to charge these here and this one here. This is a 2 years light bulb. That's not going to work, so don't do that. Same cell amount and also the same milliampere amount. All of these here, 520 milliampere. Okay, can we charge it now? Nope. <laughs> I need to do more things, in fact. Each individual cell need to have the same amount of voltage with the one is you can have a difference of uh, 0.1 volt now we need to check each of these light bulbs here it has the same amount of voltage let's see first one has 3.83 second one has 3.83 yes we can use those can uh, the third one, 
Okay, please. No, this one has 4.01. We cannot use this one. So I'm just going to use my charger here. Not going to use this one either. So I'm going to plug it in. Start from the top and go down. And now on the manual, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on this charger. Now this one here, now it, it's treated like a one huge battery pack. Uh, let's see on the menu here. Charge, lithium high voltage, 4.35 volt, 1S. And charge current, okay, so normally I charge at 6.6 uh, amps. But now I'm going to use two lipos. Same milliampere, so we're gonna take 520 plus 520, that is 1040. So we're just gonna round it down to one amp. Now on this charger it says perform task without a balancer. Lithium voltage, high voltage, one S. Yes. And of course, that the difference between charger to charger. This is just my charger. That's it. Now it's charging. So if you're okay with parallel charging, you want to slip out. This one here is a great little board. Small and compact, fits in your PV bag. Okay then. Now we're going to talk about the balance charging board. <coughs> This guy here comes with the uh, balance cable, XT60 connector, an adapter XT60 to 4mm barrel or banana plug. Okay, so now we're going to charge these two here. So this here will act as a uh, 2S 520mA battery pack. I'm going to use the switches. We have six switches, top for the, to the bottom. Uh, since we're going to charge as a 2S, we're going to flip the second switch from left to right. Now that's, that tells the board, okay, this one works as a 2S. Lipo pack and rest switches, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, should be on the left side. Okay. First cell, second cell. Charge, high voltage, 2S, 0.5 amps, because it's in CS connector and... The LiPo has 520 milliampere. And start. Easy as that. <laughs> it's pretty simple. But it won't charge 6S. Six, six LiPos at once. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now we're going to flip the second switch to the left. Six batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flip to right. Each cells. In fact, you can even use this as a yeah, battery checker. Very nice. Very nice. If you charge, I can do, I can do that. But okay, let's see. Charge high voltage six s point five amps because a single cell still has five hundred twenty milliampere. This noise is just a huge battery pack. And start. Very nice. Same thing with storage. High voltage light bulbs should be stored at 3.85. Point front Dave. Amps. And storage charge. Very nice. But uh, what happens if you, hmm, okay, let's see, you, oh, you kind of messed up and you bumped into the wrong switch. Abnormal battery connection. Well, <laughs> it tells me that the balance connector, it's, uh, it's, it's messed up. You've done something wrong. It's broken. So it, it, it won't even start. Very nice, very nice. So if you want to charge 1S, First switch, 2S, second switch, 3, 4, 5, 
That's six. This is a very easy charging board to use, eh? Very nice, very nice. So, all in all, would I recommend that? Yeah, of course, if you're just starting out with the tiny whoops, the USB charger is a, is a great. But I highly recommend to get yourself a dedicated LiPo charger. Like this one, for example. Yeah, anyways, that's it. Um, yeah, goodbye.